Hi, it's Miss Christina. We're going to read Nuffle Bunny 2 today. One morning, not so long ago, Trixie took a walk with her daddy. By now, Trixie really knew how to talk. Guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to show Amy, and then I'll show Meg, and... And then I'll show Margot, and then I'll show Jane, and then I'll show Le Layla, and then I'll show Rebecca, and then I'll show Noah, and then I'll show Robbie, and then I'll show Tosha, and then I'll show Casey, and then I'll show Connie, and then I'll show Parker, and then I'll show Brian, and then... And they talked and talked. Trixie was excited because she was talk taking her one-of-a-kind Nuffle Bunny someplace very special. Come on. School. They went to school. Trixie couldn't wait to show Nuffle Bunny to Miss Greengrove and all of her friends in pre-K. Suddenly, Trixie's one-of-a-kind Nuffle Bunny wasn't so one-of-a-kind anymore. She noticed someone else had a Nuffle Bunny. The morning did not go well. Knuffle! Nuffle. Knuffle! Nuffle. The afternoon was worse. When the school bell rang, Miss Greengrove returned Nuffle Bunnies. So they were put up high and then they were returned. And the day got better. Then, before she knew it, it was time to go home. Trixie ate her dinner, brushed her teeth, and devoured her dessert. And tried to escape the mommy and daddy robots from planet Snurp. At half past bedtime, Trixie was tucked in. But a few hours later, Trixie realized something. What do you think Trixie realized? Trixie marched into her mommy and daddy's room and said, That is not my bunny! Trixie's daddy tried to explain what 2.30 a.m. means. He asked, can we deal with this in the morning? Trixie's daddy went to the phone. <laughs> Before he even made it down the stairs, bring the phone rang. We have your bunny, said a man's vo voice on the other end. So the other little girl realized that as well. We have yours, replied Trixie's daddy. Arrangements were made. Trixie and her daddy rushed across the neighborhood. Trixie did not want to be late. There was an exchange, so they switched Knuffle and Nuffle bunnies. 
and the Nuffle Bunnies were back where they belong. I was so worried about my bunny, said Sonia. So was I, Trixie replied. Then they both said, I'm glad your bunny's bunny is back at the exact same time. And that is how Trixie found her first best friend. The end. Epilogue. The next morning, both Trixie and Sonia rushed to school. The new best friends had a lot of catching up to do. Do you want to play with my Nuffle Bunny? Sure. Do you want to play with mine? <laughs>